Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today I'm going to show you how to create a curve poplin stair design in Revit. As you can see here on my screen here, we got some photo reference before we jumping into our project. As, as you remember, we got our stair function on our Revit interface, but those stair function we could not produce for those kind of curve stair like this. So what we are going to do is some case we need to do some kind of public staircase like photo reference so today i'm going to give you a quick instruction to create that so let's speak into our project together and make sure if you are first time reach here reaching out here thumbs up like and subscribe for future tutorial okay it's pretty much let's speak into our project together here i am in revit interface so what i'm going to do first i'm going to create profile first before we create our curves there so i'm going to our family then go to new there go to english then i just drop down finding for metric profile here just hit open up once i open that revit will transfer me to another interface okay so now we create our profile already it's time to add that i'm going to our create tab then go to line Simply start draw line from center point here until here. Just tie it out for 2.5 meter. Then I'm going to drop it down for 200 for riser and for trick I will make it for 250. Then again continue our process. Just make it 200 and make this guy over there for 250. Hit escape a couple time. Once I get that, I'm going to select these two guy over there. Then CO for copy. Make sure you take for multiple selection. Then I'm going to copy that. Just continue copy that until I read my point, my point there. So I'm going to continue to copy that. Okay, I think we need another one. Hit escape a couple of time. Then LI for line. Then I start for center here until you just make it straight. Hit escape a couple of time. Then I need to copy more actually. Hit escape. Okay, once we done that, as you can see here, here is extend. So we need to trim that TR for trim. Hit escape a couple of time. We need to make sure our profile is closed. Only we can using it with our switch here. So I'm going to create another profile there. Go to file, then go to new. Go to our finding. Same as before, we finding for metric profile over there is metric profile. Just open up, or you can double click depend on what you are using. Again, I'm going to continue to make it for 2.5 meters same as before. Then, but in the case, I will make our riser for 400. And make our trick a 250 400 sorry 500 make it 500 double hit as get a couple of time then I can select two of them like this then CO for copy again start on new copy that okay hit as get a couple of time first I'm going to our create tab go to line just continue here make it straight again is it perfect hit as get a couple of time okay let's give a dimension first the eye for dimension is it everything is perfect okay it's great for me go to another profile the eye for prof for dimension it has get okay perfect for me so i'm going to our file and go to new go to our project or you can control and for new shortcut key then metric architecture templates is okay okay once i select that revit will transform it to another page all right guys so i read on my revit architecture template so what i'm going to do first i'm going to create curve line first li for line then i'm going to start out here make it like this just make it 15 meter like this and make another guy over there 15 meter hit escape first i want to make this guy over there more curve just make it more let me delete first li i will make it like this yep another 15 meter hit escape a couple of time once i done that i'm going to load my profile into my project just load in again basically it's your first time to create the profile you need to sell make sure you sell that but i got my previous sell already so this one i just make for you so i won't sell that i will straight away load in like 
before so i'm going to our architecture tab go to component then go to model in place then simply finding for stair the reason we use for stair because easier if you want to apply for structural also can because stair got function structure is okay okay once i done that i'm going to our switch here then go to pick pad i just pick here then go to our 3d okay as you can see here is my profile so i just open it up go to our profile drop down finding for family three as you can see here but now my profile is going down so what i'm going to do to rotate up just make our angle make it for 180 and i'm going to flick here as well okay so it's perfect i'm going to hit finish as you can see here then it want to flip that also can as you can see here is an angle profile here then for what i'm going to do next and of course you can assign for metric as well for parameter then i'm going to our create tab again go to our sweep go to our pick pick pack again just hit finish change our profile to family 4 then i will make it for 180 degree and i will flip it as well hit finish as you can see here it's quite nice and quite perfect for our curve stair here we could not using our existing stair has to to create those curve here you can try it out actually and here is just a quick tip to create those stair here as you can see here the joining here is quite well because before that i got calculate one before i create my profile there then i just hit finish up then i will change my graphic display option make it more interesting a bit before we finish our project change this one to so ambient shadow and background will make it for gradient apply and hit finish okay as you can see here it's quite nice for our stair cup stair okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial just a quick tutorial for you guys learning about this cup stair thank you for watching and make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notification if you are first time here because your like and your subscriber is motivate me to bring more professional content about it thank you for watching and i see you for another tutorial in reverse and have a nice weekend thank you